Now hear me out. I've set up a Patreon. And I want you to hear me out, even if you're not really interested in Patreon, just hear me out. Because I don't want to have to mention it. I don't want you thinking, oh, greedy, greedy man. Because it's not about the money. I started my Facebook blog um, about six years ago. And if I'd have moved that to a website, I'd have been making money years ago. But I didn't move it to a website because... Um, I want it to be easily accessible for people and I don't I don't want people clicking on it and there's like 100 adverts and they can't read what I put and things like that um, and also when I start I started YouTube four years ago still not made these when I started it the rules were you had to get to a thousand subscribers um, uh, for four thousand out four thousand hours watch time to get monetized and I thought well if I don't get monetized that's all right because I'm not doing it for that but if I do get monetized that's okay because I'm not asking the people that follow me to, to pay me money it's like you know these advertisers nameless faces advertisers that'd be paying me money anyway not been making no money because I've, I've still not had of subscribers because I'm very offensive but that's fine I didn't mind not making no money because I'm not doing it for that I um I enjoy doing it and I enjoy me the the people I've met through doing it and um I, I like recording the children's childhoods and also when I was looking into homeschooling home education it was people like Andrea Mills who was on YouTube the late Andrea Mills bless her um that supported me and showed me how to do it and I wanted to be that person for somebody else um so I didn't mind not making any money but then on Pinky's birthday see th these are the reasons I've set up the Patreon this is the first one on Pinky's birthday which was August YouTube had changed the rules you can't you don't get monetized and you've got a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours watch time same as before but they've changed the rules that they can monetize your videos whenever they like if you haven't choose to be monetized or if you've not got enough whatever to be monetized and they get a hundred percent of that money and i thought well they're not going to monetize my videos i've already got any views pinky's birthday beginning of august they monetized the video since then they've monetized an awful lot of my videos most of them are monetized now um and they're getting a hundred and I'm I'm putting myself out there and my children out there and they 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 they're profiteering off me they're getting a hundred percent of that money and I didn't mind not making no money until they started shafting me and robbing me and it feels like I'm working for YouTube for nothing um and it just annoys me and the late Andrew Mills when she died she had like 44,000 subscribers and she hadn't monetized the channel because it wasn't about that for her. When she died her husband monetized the channel but that was so he could stay at home for two days a week because obviously he's on his own with nine kids and that. But I sometimes wonder, because my Andrew Mills didn't want to be monetized, if YouTube had started just monetizing her videos anyway and making 100% of money off her, would she have then monetized it so that she got a cut or would she have said stuff this and, and quit but anyway so youtube's robbing me blind the second reason i set up a patreon is um my my facebook blog i feel like i've always been honest and i and showed warts and all homeschool and i feel like I'm doing my best to still do that, but I feel like the quality of my posts have dipped sometimes or or I haven't been able to be as honest as I'd like or get into the warts and all as much as I'd like because I set up my blog for other homeschoolers or other people interested, not for local people who are nosy. There's a few local people who started following my blog and it's because they're interested and that's okay but there's an awful lot who are haters 
or people who are just being nosy. A woman rung social services on us just to be nasty. She is a nasty piece to work, but she rung social services on us about two years ago. And one of the things that she put down was my Facebook blog against me. But luckily, my Facebook blog was actually a record of how much we do do with our kids and how much we do care about our kids. That backfired for a but. But now I'm, you know, I'm less likely to put on a picture of the state of my ass or if I'm having a bad day because I know people like that are watching it and they might try and use it against me just because they're nasty. And also, there's a woman around here, never spoke to me. She'd rather shove her head in gutter than say up to me. But her husband works with my husband. I put on my Facebook blog that I was pregnant with, it, with this one, Jeremiah, because... The, major, the vast majority of people on my blog are really supportive, they're lovely people. But this, but my husband went to work that night and the whole of the work knew about it. And they were all taking mix, they needed vasectomy and stuff. Because this woman was looking at my blog. Or like, I try and write something and it doesn't matter how I preface it, saying I don't mean so and so, I don't mean so and so, I don't mean it. People still take offence, I didn't even mean them. Or... Uh, she's not, she doesn't live on the street anymore. But there was a woman who lived up the street and never spoken to her, never spoken to this woman. I did a post during the first lockdown. She thought it was about her. <laughs> and she messaged me and she was all like, you don't know who you're dealing with. Next time this will be a face to face conversation. No, no, no. You're a nut, nutty. And it weren't about her, I never spoke to her. So. <laughs> And the other reason I've set up a Patreon is people of people, lovely people, um, sometimes message me saying, "Can I send you? Can I send you something for kids, or can I send you money, or you know?" And I haven't got a PO, PO box or anything like that. Um, so I'm still doing YouTube. I'm still doing Facebook. So if you don't go and join my Patreon, you're still going to get content. You're still going to you know get stuff from me. But if you want a little bit extra, for things I can't post publicly anymore because of nosy parkers, busybodies, and for extra videos, just so I feel like I'm not just making videos for YouTube to line their pockets, I've set up a Patreon. It took me ages to work out how to do it. <laughs> I've tried to set it at the lowest tariff possible, which is £3 a month, because it isn't about the money. Um, but also, if, if anybody knows you or anybody who means us harm, see something on my Patreon and know that at least they paid for the privilege to read it. But anyway, <coughs> it's the lowest tariff possible. And I'm gonna put extra posts extra posts on there, more personal posts on there that I feel like I can't put my Facebook anymore. And I'm gonna put some extra videos on there. But like I say, um so if you'd like to support my channel or support me or you just want to see the extra content I'm going to link my Patreon in the description box below if you'd like to join. But if you don't, I'm still going to be here on YouTube, still going to be here on Facebook. Hello, darling. But there are my reasons anyway. It's not because I'm trying to... Yeah, because I'm thinking, oh, I can I get money? So if you see me advertising my Patreon, even if you don't join my Patreon, don't think, oh, ain't she greedy? Anyway. Mm. See you later.